Okay, so today we're going to talk about WP user query. It actually gets us a list of users or members or whatever in WordPress. And also there is a function that's a wrapper around that query. We're going to talk about this a little also. And just to show you a practical example, let's say you're building a membership website that's when you can use the WP user query to create user list like that and uh, lots of other um, custom fields that are attached to it. And also, it doesn't stop there. If you look here, this drop down is basically coming from the database. I'm looking through all the users and their associated sports and collecting this list from the database and displaying here by Ajax also doing the same thing here if you notice there's uh, only certain countries here but if we had to put all 200 plus countries here this would be ridiculously long right so what i had to do just look through the users list and collect their associated country and create this one so there are a lot of usage that we can get out of this query right here now let's go to the code and see this in action Okay, so let's start with uh, this function right here, get users, uh, which is pretty much a wrapper on top of the WP user query. So let's go to the code. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to start with an argument variable, args, and give it an empty array. Now the users variable. Here we're going to use the get users function, and we're going to pass the argument. And at this point, we are put this variable here so that we can see the output okay so let's try first with a with an empty argument see what we get let's refresh so it looks like we got all our user objects here in return and to get to these specific data items we're going to have to put it through some sort of a loop this seems like the right time to switch to WP user query. Since what we use here, this guy is nothing but a wrapper function. So let's go straight to this, which would be a slightest bit faster and has some more advantages. Okay, we are back at the code. Let's start with a empty argument variable. This time we're gonna just keep it empty and move to the next. Now let's create our first user query. Next, let's use one of the default functions of the user query to get the total number of users okay so now let's go check it out what we get now let's refresh and we get zero unlike the other function this one will not accept a, an empty argument so let's give it something okay let's just say we we're asking for five of the users let's save it and now also keep in mind we're asking the, we're actually printing out the total user numbers. So if we get any number, the total user number, that means this query worked. Let's go check it out, refresh, and it comes up with the result. We have 11 total users, even though we're asking for five, but we're not displaying five. So let's go to the next step where we create the loop if okay so we are going to see just what we get out of this res get results function let's check it out refresh and this time we get the user objects just like what we got out of that get users function so now let's create a loop so that we can get down to these data items this time i'm going to remove this and have my second layer going for each. Okay, so now expand this function a little. And this time, since we are down to single users, so let's get something like this, like a display name. All right, let's save it. And this time go back. Yeah, we do get the results, but we're gonna go ahead and add a BR tag. Okay, let's try again all right so we asked for five and we got five but here's another way to get all the users let's make it a little bit pretty 
with an HR and to get all the users we can just use negative one here but we have to be careful here uh, just because I have very few users so this is okay but in case of thousands of users you may not want to use this but let's go check it out all right so we have our all use 11 users right here all right let's move forward with the search filter just by typing search and here we're going to use any string we like just to show you what we're looking for let's go to the back end so these are the 11 users we're playing around with so let's go look for michael right let's see how that works all right let's refresh all right michael johnson shows up okay so let's say next look for jennifer By the way, these are not case sensitive, so uppercase, lowercase doesn't matter, just so you know. Let's save this and let's refresh. Nothing. Why? It's because by default, it looks for only this username column. So to search through this column or that column, we have to bring in another argument. Let's check it out. Let's add search columns here. It's gonna be a string array. Let's bring in display name. Let's save it. This time we should be looking through display name. So let's see. Refresh. Okay, we got a zero result. Why is that? Because if you look here, it's not one string right here, like here, Jen, Michael. This is Jennifer Parlor, right? So we have to use the asterisk operator since something else is coming afterwards add this asterisk or star here afterwards save it now refresh and there you go Jennifer Parler is here let's dig a little bit deeper let's add multiple columns let's see how to do that let's search through user emails also save it also if you're wondering about where to get these column names from when we pulled up the objects right here these are basically the column names this is where i'm using user email display name login etc so that's where i'm getting these names from and now let's go search for something from here from email right let's look for firefox but keep in mind firefox has stuff before that and after that right so this time we're going to use the asterisk or star on both sides firefox save it and it should be looking into the user email and let's go refresh there you go firefox so that gives us a clear idea about the number field, search field, and search column field. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and work with user roles and advanced custom fields. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.